Greetings! My name is Ev. Welcome to my studio. In today's video, I'll be testing out this 36 colors palette made by Stuart Sample over at the Culture Hustle website. Let's go! I am able to try out this palette thanks to one of you, fellow artist and friend, who contacted the people at Culture Hustle and told them that I might be able to provide a bit more exposure and information about this palette. To you, my friends and watchers. There is not a lot about this palette out there, and I know I had been curious to see swatches. The palette comes in a nice box, with the colors listed on the back. Right away, we can see that these colors have quite unique names. Inside the box, we find a really nice white plastic box with a smooth finish and the name Stuart Sample in black on the lid. I open the palette to find a color chart, a removable mixing palette, and the paints. The paints are in a white plastic tray, somewhat reminiscent of the Sakura Koi palettes, with two sponges and a water brush. The mixing palette can be set in various ways, depending on how you want to set this up. The inside of the lid is rather smooth, but can be used as a large mixing area. I prepared three swatching sheets to fit all of the 36 colors. As far as I can tell, there is no pigment information available about these paints. Their names are also quite unusual, so that can't be used as a reference for the pigment names we see more often. As an example, when you see a paint named Ultramarine and it doesn't come with pigment information, you can compare the color to other ultramarine swatches and see how much of a match it is. It's a bit more difficult with these colors here. These are sold as professional grade paints, using the latest pigments innovation and very best watercolor binders. Also, this palette is sold on a not-for-profit basis. You can purchase it at cost price on the website, or add a donation to help the Culture Hustle Collective. The colors in this set are... Whew, Saint, Soft Shock, Happy, Sensei, Crush, 15 Minutes, Vincent, Raygun, Art Star, Runaway, Jealous, Pink, Bowie, Dropout, Slave, Haze, Always, Dive, King Zulu, 1980, Zoltar, Alchemy, Envy, Venom, Emerald City, Grudge, Loser, Monster, Swamp, Wheatfield, Akinaten, Bullion, Butt Nugget, Stump, Dirtbag, and Void. The colors all rewet really well, except for the light purple, dropout, and the pink color, pink. Those two required a bit more work. With 36 colors, the range available from this palette is really quite nice. The colors seem to be nice and vibrant. I was curious about the pink color, which is technically sold as the pinkest pink, I think, from the Culture Hustle slash Stuart Sample website. I wanted to compare it with my opera pink swatches. The pinkest pink is a very pink color, but it's not necessarily as neon as other opera pink colors. The pink I have from the neon Lumi color set is still the most neon I've seen. It's probably not light fast at all, but it is very, very neon. To try and make the best of the color selection from this palette, 
I drew a scene set in a farmer's market to demo the paints. With all the produce, this is a great opportunity to test out many of these colors. I was able to mix colors well, both on the paper and on the palette. You already know that I don't paint very large, and I don't tend to layer that much. So I can't really say about these aspects of painting. For the size and type of illustration I have here, these paints were very fun to use. They are all very vibrant. Prior to receiving the palette, I did a bit of looking around. There is indeed not a lot about these paints, as far as reviews and swatches go. The only swatch chart I could find at that time was the one they have on their website, and they really didn't pick a good paper to showcase these paints. And as for reviews, I've only seen the one a chat fell, sorry for possibly butchering the name, has done. It's always super exciting to test out something that not a lot is known about. I'll be posting scans of my swatches on my Patreon and Ko-fi accounts. I'll also have a link to the review made by Echatfell. All the links will be in the description below. Overall, I'm very happy with these colors. They worked well on the paper I used, and they offer a good range of colors, which is appreciated when doing my kind of illustration work. The only bother with this set is the lack of pigment information. It's very difficult for me to reconcile the claim of professional paints and the lack of pigment information. I want to say a great big thank you to Culture Hustle and to The Watcher, who both made it so I could test out this palette. Thanks! So what do you think of this palette? Let me know in the comments below. Take care, bye bye.